This is a quick video to show you how to sew the slit um, and, and put a facing on the slit of a keyhole neckline. A keyhole neckline is a, a neck, a round hole cut through where your neck goes through. But in order to keep that hole from getting too big, um, so that um, to get your head through, what they did in period um, was they made the hole about the circumference of your neck, more or less, maybe just a little bit bigger, and then they cut a slit down the front, which would then open up to allow the garment to go over your head and then close up again. You could pin it shut. It's a nice, neat way to do a neckline. Now, I haven't got a whole neckline here. I've just got a little sample piece with a slit cut as if this is the top of the neckline and then this is down the front. And we're going to put a little facing on it. It really is a little facing. It's just over an inch wide, and I don't ever cut these any wider than about two inches, but make sure it's a fair bit longer, a little bit longer than the slit. So this one is an inch or so longer than the slit. And what I do is I've already cut the slit, and then I lay down the fabric on top of the facing, with the facing going just a little bit past the edge. You can trim off the edge when you need it, and then you run that slit right down the center of your little facing. The way we're doing this as we're looking at it is this is the right side of the facing. It's what you're going to see on the inside and this is the right side of the garment. And we're going to turn this inside out before we're done. So I usually put in about three pins on the one side and one of them will be actually off the slit just a little bit down at the bottom to hold that still. And then what I do is I also pin it in the other direction with pins that I push back a little bit so I'm not going to be sewing right over them. And I'll move them to a better position when I get to the second side. But for now I'm just putting them so they're just past the edge of the slit in the fabric so that they won't cause me any trouble while I'm sewing and that my needle won't run into them. All right. So we're starting here with a seam allowance um, onto the side of the needle, about a quarter inch wide. That's about all we need for this. And we are going to be sewing down with the seam allowance getting smaller and smaller until we get past the edge of the slit. So we're going to actually, in this case, sew a little past the edge of the slit, and the slit will be a little bit bigger when we're done. But I find this by far the easiest way to do it. So start at the top. Reverse your stitches to secure them, and we're just going to sew down, maintaining that quarter inch, more or less a quarter inch seam allowance. Now, as we're getting to about an inch from the bottom, we start to taper in just a little bit, but not too much. The major tapering is going to happen right at the end, so I've gotten past it, and I'm going to sew a couple of stitches to get me down to the end. Now, I'm going to turn this around. You can see I'm just past the slit down there. Maybe you can't see, but trust me, I am. I'm going to move these back into position so they're easy for me to get out. Take that one out. And now what I'm going to do is come back to the other side of the slit. And now I'm going to move the seam allowance, uh, move so that pretty quickly, so the seam allowance is back to about that quarter inch. And even on either side. And we're now just going to sew to the end. And then when we get to the end, we'll do the reverse stitches to secure it. Okay, so you've got the stitches on either side. Nicely put together like that. And now what I'm going to do is just cut down the center. I can see this. I'm watching what I'm doing more than I'm watching the screen. So just cutting the facing and I'm cutting right to that point without cutting through. If you don't cut right to the point, then the fabric won't turn nicely. And having done that, we turned it all to the other side. And you will iron this over. And that gives you a very nice little point.
and a very nice folded edge. What I normally do when I'm doing these, it gives you a very narrow edge. And in fact, these were very narrow in period. Okay, so that's your, your edge there on the outside of your garment. And then what I normally do on the inside is I just turn this side under and sew it down. I usually do it by hand and you've got a perfect finished edge. Looks nice, really period, very professional looking. To finish this, then what you do is you get another strip with about, I usually make it about um, three quarters of an inch wide, maybe an inch wide at the most. And you sew it in another, put it here a little past your edge, make another quarter inch seam all the way around. Make sure you sew those together loosely. And then you can turn it back over and you can have the same finished edge all the way around the hole as you do on the side and your neckline will be done.